Hello and welcome to City Focus. I'm Diane Gonzalez. A special kind of job fair is coming up April 1st here in Lincoln. Hero to Hired is an effort to serve those in the military, veterans, and their families. Several agencies have teamed up to offer the event, and I'm joined now by a few of those involved. Seth Fager is with the Nebraska Department of Labor. Sarah Peets is with the Lincoln Community Foundation. And Bill Nelson is with Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve. Thank you all very much for being here. Um, Sarah, I'm going to start with you and talk about why it's important to target those in the military and veterans and their families. Thank you for having us today. And the Lincoln Community Foundation has um, began partnering in the year 2010 with the Nebraska National Guard and the um, Nebraska Department of Veterans Affairs to really work with them in seeking out ways in which our community can help our local veterans who are returning and veterans who have, who have been living in the community um, seek, seek employment, for instance, or any other services and support that they might need. So we have been working on this for about five years and employment is one of the areas that um, we are, are covering. Um, we realize that um, as we look at local agencies, there are a lot of local agencies that maybe the Department of Veterans Affairs and the National Guard are not familiar with, and that's the role that the Lincoln Community Foundation has taken on, is introducing all these people together, coordinating efforts, and seeing what other areas of support are going on in Lincoln, Nebraska that, that we can help facilitate. Um, with employment and um, job seeking, we, we realize there are two ways that this is helpful. First of all, it is so um, help, uh, important to support those service members who of course have supported us in their military service and it's a way for us to give back and help. But secondly, it is a wonderful opportunity for our community to tap into the skills that um, veterans provide and those who have participated or are participating in military service. They have excellent job skills, um, not only trades that they have learned while serving in the military, but they also have wonderful leadership skills, um, commitment, adaptability, um, discipline, teamwork, entrepreneurial spirit. So it's a wonderful resource for our community to be able to tap into and this um, job fair brings both together very nicely. Now Bill, uh, what kind of barriers does this particular group face in terms of, of getting employment? It's not so much the barriers. I think the, the biggest problem they have is they don't really know what skills they have or that they can bring to the workplace. They, you know, they've had a particular skill primarily in the, in the military. They know the, uh, their job in and out, but what they don't realize is they bring another set of skill sets, leadership, uh, attention to detail, uh, the, a lot of those uh, intangibles uh, come to the workforce. They don't really, a lot of them don't really know how to translate that into a resume or be able to sit down and, and uh, uh, with face-to-face -face with a recruiter and explain you know that I was I was a squad leader, but what did a squad leader do? Uh, you know, as far as the leadership and the the mentoring, the counseling, and and those those particular things, and that's where we get involved in trying to help them and uh, understand that you know they have a they are a value, they are an asset, and they can bring those skills to the workplace and translate them over into the civilian community as well. All right, we want to give people the details here. We'll be repeating this a little later as well. The Hero to Hire Job Fair is April 1st. There's going to be two workshops offered at 8.30 and 9 a.m. The fair then goes from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Lancaster Event Center. And Bill, um, we talked about how there have been previous events here. Do we know how successful the previous events like this have been? Yeah, since 2012, the Nebraska Department of Labor has been involved in the Hire Our Heroes initiative, which is a nationwide initiative. We've had 15 events here in Nebraska <coughs> statewide. We've had over 1,300 veterans, military members, and spouses attend those events. Uh, over 300 employers at a recent Hire Our Heroes event in Bellevue, Nebraska last month. We had over 190 job seekers that attended, over 70 employers that attended. It resulted in over 130 uh, interviews directly resulting from the job fair and 22 firm offers were made to uh, military members and veterans directly at the job fair. So these, these can be very, very successful. They are very successful and these are employers who recognize the skills that military members bring to the workforce and they want military members to be part of their organization and, and fill their roles. 
Thank you, Seth. I think I called you Bill a little bit ago. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, Sarah, how many different agencies are involved? We've got the, the Department of Labor, Community Foundation, Employer, Employer Support, Support of the Garden Reserve. Reserve. But there's several others involved as well. There are, and I'm just going to go um, read through and list them. The Department of Defense, Hero to Hired Organization, Lincoln Chamber of Commerce, Lincoln Community Foundation, of course, Lincoln Partnership for Economic Development, the Nebraska Department of Labor, which Seth is representing, the Veterans Administration, and the City of Lincoln is involved in this also. A, lot, a, a good group of people a who great come group together of agencies, for, right. for a great cause. Now, we talked a little bit, just mentioned the workshops, two half-hour workshops that are going to precede the fair. Seth, tell us what's, what will be the focus of these two workshops. Well, two workshops directly before the uh, career fair beginning at 8.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. Uh, the focus of the workshops will be Resume preparation, so we'll have staff that are able to review individuals' resumes and critique that, give uh, tips how to sell themselves the best possible way to the employer as they go out into the job fair. Also, military skills and translating those into civilian terms so that the employer can better relate to those and really give the veteran the best possible chance to uh, land that job at the job fair or shortly afterwards. So then they venture out of the workshops and they head into the fair itself to meet with the employers. Bill, what, uh, what do you see happening at the fair itself? Is it a, like a typical job fair? It, well, yes and no. The, uh, once the employers get there, it's first come, first serve when they set up the table, so there's no, there's no you know, A to Z uh, lineup. You see a lot of uh, a lot of the job seekers will come in. They know specifically that they want to talk to X company, Y company, and Z company, so they'll just target them uh, first off. Uh, some of the folks come in. They don't know what they want to do. They're they're still kind of trying to find what what they want to do when they grow up. So they'll come in and they'll just kind of start wandering up and down the the rows and, and visiting with employers until they can kind of target. Uh, an idea, uh, and then they'll come back and they'll ask us if if a particular company is is there at the job fair. If they are, they'll go speak with them. Otherwise, uh, a lot of people will. Uh, we we try to impress upon them that you know don't just box yourself into just one employer or two employers. Check everybody out because you never know that that perfect job may be with another company that you would, hadn't even thought of, or may not be aware of the company Absolutely. itself. So Absolutely. How many companies do you hope to have involved in this? We've got 100 tables reserved, and uh, as of last week, I think we were about halfway there on uh, employers signing up, and we still have employers calling every day that, that uh, once they find out about it, uh, there, there are a lot of repeat customers, if you will, from the, from the previous job fairs that we've done. Uh, plus, uh, we picked up a few from the Bellevue job fair that uh, they want to branch out and get into the, uh, into the Lincoln area, and other companies that uh, that are finding out about it, uh, just because the the uh, the the job market, if you will, or the 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 attendees, the the service members, their spouses, and working age dependents uh, bring a uh, a much different aspect to the job fairs than than a uh, what we call a cattle call mm -hmm. when when everybody shows up. As you pointed out, Bill, we are um, adding veterans, their spouses and their dependents to this too. So it's not just veterans, it's the whole support system that is built around the veterans. And we have a pretty strict criteria with the employers that are um, participating. We ask that they have at least two or three job openings. So they have a very high um, perspective of hiring. They're, they're really in a position to hire on the spot if, if that would be the case. And this is a, a good part of the country to have a job fair like this with, uh, with the low unemployment rates that we have. That's certainly right. We have some tremendous opportunities for uh, veterans and their families here, right here in Nebraska. Very employer-friendly community, uh, job openings, and employers that really recognize those skills that veterans can bring to our workforce and enhance their organizations. All right. Thank you all very much. We want to repeat the Hero to Hire job fair again is April 1st. Workshops are at 8.30 and 9 a.m. and then the fair itself goes from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Lancaster Event Center. Now to register, you go to lcf.org backslash community hyphen initiatives. And then there's a link to register listed under the resources near the bottom of that page. 
You can also call 402-309-7305. Do veterans and their families need to sign up for this as well or just the, just the employers? The veterans, families, family members, dependents can sign up on the same site. It will take you to an employer registration or a prospective job seeker registration. Okay. All right. Thank you all very much for being here. Absolutely. It sounds like a great event. Hopefully we'll have a good turnout of both uh, employers and prospective employees on that day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Appreciate thank, it. Thank you for joining us for City Focus.